Lymphadenitis. Lymph plus adenitis. Adenitis means inflammation in any gland. Lymphadenitis is an inflammation of the lymph gland, also called as lymph node. It is enlargement in one or more lymph nodes, usually due to infection. You have about 600 lymph nodes in your body, but normal lymph nodes may only be felt below your jaw, neck, under your arms, and in your groin area. A normal lymph node is small, oval-shaped, and firm. They're linked by lymphatic vessels, which carry lymph throughout the body. Lymph is a clear fluid containing immune cells or WBCs, proteins, salt, and dead tissues for disposal. The primary function of lymph nodes is to harbor the disease-fighting cells and to filter lymph before it re-enters circulation. Bacteria is captured during filtration, there starts the fight between immune cells and bacteria inside lymph node results them to become inflamed and painful. This condition is referred to as lymphadenitis. Want to become our channel member? To get access to loyalty badges, custom emojis, easy to understand notes, video of your choice, medical diseases. To get these membership offers, simply click on join button and choose a special offer pack for yourself. Thank you. Lymphadenitis is of two types. First, localized lymphadenitis. This is the most common type. It involves one or just a few nodes that are close to the area where the infection started. For example, nodes enlarged because of a tonsil infection may be felt in the neck area. Second, generalized lymphadenitis. This type of lymph node infection occurs in two or more lymph node groups and may be caused by an infection that spreads through the bloodstream or another illness that affects the whole body. Causes. First, inflammatory, due to microorganisms. Bacterial infection of Streptococcus, Mycobacterium, Troponema pallidum, Actinomycosis. Viral infection of Lymphogranuloma venereum, Infectious mononucleosis, HIV. Parasitic infection by Wacheria bancrofti. Fungal infection by Blastomycosis. Second, leukemia. In acute lymphocytic leukemia or in chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Third, autoimmune disorders. For example, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis. Fourth, neoplasms, such as malignant lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, lymphosarcoma, malignant melanoma. Fifth, secondaries in lymph nodes due to metastasis of cancer cells via lymphatics. Sometimes, it is caused by rare infection, such as cat scratch disease, in which Bartonella bacteria is transmitted via scratch or bite of a cat, leading to localized lymphadenitis in area around scratch. Symptoms or clinical features. Symptoms depend on the cause of the swelling and the location of the swollen lymph node. Lymph node enlargement. It is considered enlarged if it is about one half inch wide. Lymph node becomes tender, that means painful to touch. Skin over it becomes tender. Red streakings of skin over node are seen. Fever due to infection. Lymph nodes may feel rubbery, if an abscess that means pocket of pus has formed within it. In chronic conditions, sinus forms through which abscess drains out on skin surface. Other constitutional B symptoms, such as fever, night sweat, and weight loss are seen in patients of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Diagnosis. A doctor typically diagnoses lymph node inflammation through a physical examination. This includes feeling your lymph nodes and looking for signs of injury or infection around any swollen lymph nodes. Blood tests to look for infection. Often bacteria are found in bloodstream. Biopsy, that means taking a sample of tissue or fluid from the lymph node. Sample is sent to a pathologist who will test it and interpret lab results. He will place sample into a culture to see what type of germs grow. Doctor may order imaging tests as well, such as X-rays or CT scans. These can look for tumors or sources of infection. Biopsy is often the most reliable way to determine why lymph node inflammation has occurred. Treatment. Doctor will figure out the exact type of treatment depends on what type of infection has spread into your lymph nodes. Inflammation may spread rapidly into surrounding tissue within hours, that's why treatment should begin right away. Antibiotics, given by mouth or injection to fight with infection caused by microorganisms. Analgesics, painkillers given to control pain. Anti-inflammatory medicines, to reduce inflammation. Cool compresses, to reduce inflammation and pain. Surgery, includes abscess drainage. If a lymph node itself becomes infected, an abscess may form. Swelling will usually go down quickly when the abscess is drained. To do this, your doctor will first numb the area. Then they'll make a small cut that allows the infected pus to escape. The area may be packed with gauze to ensure healing. 
Cancer treatment. If your lymph node swelling is due to a cancerous tumor, there are a number of treatment options. These include surgery to remove the tumor as well as lymph node, also called as lymphadenectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation. Your doctor will discuss each of these options, including their pros and cons, before starting your treatment. Prognosis. Prompt treatment with antibiotics usually leads to a complete recovery. Complications. Untreated lymphadenitis may lead to abscess formation, or a skin infection called as cellulitis, or sinus formation, usually seen in mycobacterium tuberculosis TB patients. Rarely, underlying pathology is so dangerous that it can cause widespread bloodstream infection, leading to sepsis. 